it's Des, and I'm here with my stuffed dog pancake. Cause he looks like a pancake, and I and I love pancakes, and I love him. This is pancake. He's gonna be here. So if you read the title, I'm gonna be telling you 16 life lessons I've learned in the 16 years of me living. I just turned 16 like a week ago or like two weeks ago. Uh, like a short a short amount of time ago and I was talking to my principal he's a cool dude and he was telling me that I should do a video saying 16 lessons I've learned 16 years so I was like that's a good idea so here I am doing it um yeah so my principal requested this that's cool first lesson honesty is the best policy I know this is something that everyone's heard like kindergarten but like Honestly, I used to lie so much as a child, as a young child, I'm, I'm still a child, but as a young child I used to lie so much and it was over like really stupid stuff and I just realized that like lying is just, it takes too much effort, too much energy and if you get caught in a lie then it's like a mess. So just, just tell the truth. Next thing, always be yourself. Um, as a kid I... This kind of plays into like lying or whatever, but like I was always trying to be like cool or whatever. And because of that, like all the friends that were around, like they were all fake. And like I never had any real friends besides like three people. And so it's just better to be yourself. And it takes a lot less energy to be yourself than to be someone that you're not. But next thing, this is something I struggle with and I'm still working on it, but like, yeah. And that's never bringing yourself down. I talk bad about myself a lot and I've been, been and I've been trying to like improve on that because it really does like destroy um, my mental health but yeah don't talk bad about yourself like it's one thing to recognize that you're wrong in the situation or you're criticizing your personality so you can grow as a human being but if you're like ooh I'm so ugly like no if you wouldn't say it about someone else don't say it about yourself Next thing, hostility will get you nowhere. I personally, I mean, I haven't been really, really hostile, like, to lots of people when I was younger. I mean, I was like a bully to like my brother in like kindergarten, but like I grew out of that. But I see other people being hostile, especially like at our age in like high school or whatever. And it's honestly like, I don't understand why that's like a thing, but like, I wish people would stop like, Hostility for real will get you nowhere. The only thing hostility will get you is like enemies and people not liking you. Um, next thing. Determination is important. I realize that you, you can't, you can't go through life and not be determined. You'll never be successful if you're not determined about what you want to do and what you want to be. Because if you're not determined, like, people are going to tell you no. That's like, people are going to tell you no. People are going to like, hold you back and be obstacles in your life. And you have to be determined enough to not let those people and not let those obstacles hold you back. And if you do let them hold you back, then like, you'll never get to your goal. Next thing, asking questions is okay. Oh my gosh, it's such a thing in like school and like stuff that people like shame you or make you feel guilty about asking questions or not knowing something. They're like, mm -hmm, you're stupid. And it's just like, how am I supposed to learn anything if I don't ask questions? Like. Next thing, don't be super judgmental. Um, I was super judgmental as like a youngin, and honestly, I, I like, I don't even know why I was so judgmental. Like, but I would be judgmental over stuff that like doesn't matter. I'll be like, mm, her outfit looks bad, or I don't like her hair, and it's honestly just like, okay, well, none of that stuff matters. Like, why would I judge someone on the way their hair looks? They could be an amazing human being, but I don't want to talk to them because I don't like the way her hair looks. Like, come on, younger self. No. Next thing. Choose your battles. This is another thing where I haven't personally struggled with this a lot, but I've seen other people deal with this, especially in high school, especially at my age. But people just put themselves in altercations. They just put themselves in like beef and like fights that are so unnecessary, so unneeded. You really didn't have to be in that altercation. Like, if it's not super, super important, if it's not directly negatively affecting you, you don't have to put yourself in that altercation. Choose your battles. Don't waste your time fighting a battle that's not worth it. Next one. Never say anything behind someone's back if you won't say it to their face. 
This is another thing that's common within my age group. Lots of people gossip, lots of people like to spill tea and all this extra stuff, which is great and dandy and fine or whatever, but the second someone goes, oh, I heard you said X, Y, Z about me, then they're suddenly like, <laughs> okay, well, you wouldn't be so flustered if you are brave enough to say what you said behind their back to their face. Yeah. Also, this will like prevent people from like talking really, really bad about people, especially like about people that they don't know very well or that did nothing to them. Like, if that person did nothing to you, do you really have to talk terribly about them? Like, would you want someone to talk that bad about you? Would you want to say that to that person's face? Like, no? Okay, so you probably shouldn't say it. Okay, right. Next thing. <laughs> it's good to admit when you're wrong. This is something that I still struggle with now because I'm super stubborn. I'm a Taurus, so we stubborn. And I like hate being wrong. Like I love to be right. But it is good to be like, hey guys, I was wrong about that one thing, you know? And it may be difficult, but overall, it will help you improve as a person because you'll recognize your bad habits and bad things about you that you need to change. But also, like, it shows to other people that you are a big enough person and you are mature enough to recognize when you are wrong and to apologize and to admit to others when you're wrong instead of blaming everyone else about things that are going wrong. It's good to be like, okay, let me evaluate myself too to make sure that I'm not doing something wrong before I go out and start blaming other people. You know? Next thing. <laughs> Time management is important. If you don't manage your time well or what you're doing after school and in school to get that work done, it's not going to be done. Next thing, humor is a good coping mechanism. It's very common within the youth to use, hum to use humor as a coping mechanism and I'm so about it. Oh my gosh, laughter is the best medicine. I am such a strong believer of that. If you ever are sad or angry or stressed about something, try to make a joke about it, try to make yourself laugh about it, it will release stress, oh my Jesus, you will feel so much better and it's not an unhealthy alternative because you're not like hurting yourself or hurting anyone else, you're just laughing. Next thing, it's okay to not be okay. This is another like good thing for like people who deal with like mental illness. Um, there's like, it's really really common for people who do deal with mental illness to feel guilty when they're not feeling like 100% and that guilt can really destroy someone's like mental health. Like it's okay to not be 100%. It's okay to not be happy all the time. No one is happy all the time. And if they say they are, they're lying. If you are in a situation where you have anxiety and you're having a panic attack or you're having a depressive episode or you're dealing with whatever mental illness, whatever emotional problem that you're dealing with, it's okay to not be okay. Next thing, enjoy the little things in life. It's so common for lots of people to be so caught up on like all the bad things and all the stressful things happening in their life that they ignore all the stuff that they're taking for granted and you will be more like thankful for life if you take time to recognize all the good things that's happening in your life like wow I'm so happy I have a house wow I'm so happy I get to eat food I'm so happy to have a phone I'm so happy to go to school because there's people that don't have those things and you're taking it for granted and there's someone that would love to go to school, there's someone that would love to have a house, there's someone that would love to have food or love to have a phone and you know, although there may be some bad things going on in your life, you still have to take the time to be like, I understand that this is something really stressful but like, I'm going to focus on positive things that I'm grateful about because I may not always have it. Next thing! <laughs> Always try to take time to relax. Even if it's five minutes, just take some time to decompress and take a boosa moment and just breathe and just relax because you can get so stressed out about all the stuff stacking up in your life. You need to take a moment, take a breather, boo boo, and just let it go. Just and last but not least, health is important. This is something that I did not care about as a child. I did not care about my physical health in any way, shape, or form. I could not care less about getting sick or eating too much unhealthy foods. Like, I did not care, honestly, which is probably, like, a bad thing. But, like, as a kid, I, like, wanted to get sick so I didn't have to go to school. But I didn't realize, like, how, how much your physical health is, like, important. Um, yeah, so those are 16 life lessons I've learned in my 16 years of living. Um, if you 
learned something from this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button. Right, Pinky? Click the thumbs up button. Okay. <laughs> if you want to see more videos in which I talk about my life experience, then be sure to click that red subscribe button and you can leave a comment down below telling me one of the life lessons you learned so I can learn from you and so then we can all grow and improve as people. And thank you to my principal for suggesting this video. It really did like make me like think about how much I've grown as a person from like being a young child to like now. Like dude I was such a different person. I was such in a different mind state like five years ago even like see you guys in the next video bye hey how you doing well i'm doing just fine i lied i'm dying inside